In this video, we will be taking a look at the True Blue Mini. If you don't know what the True Blue Mini is, it's basically like a hack stick for the PlayStation Classic. It's a USB that plugs in and it has loads of games on it. This one includes 58 games. This is the Fight Pack. This is the 32 gigabyte version. You can get different sizes. So if you guys like the look of it during the video, you think it looks cool, or you want to check it out and check out some of the different ones, make sure to go to flashcarder.com. They actually sent me this for this video. So there will be a link to their website in the description if you wish to purchase one or check out some of the other ones they have, make sure to go to their website. It will be linked in the description of this video. So yeah, this thing is called the True Blue Mini. Um, I don't know really much about these, but I guess they have PlayStation games on for the PlayStation Classic. This is probably something for beginners, so if you don't know how to copy across the games yourself, or it's just a lot more convenient just to get a USB of them all on. And yeah, let's have a look at the box quickly. This one is the Fight Pack with 58 games. The back of the box is blank. Has some information down here. It says over 50 of your favorite PlayStation 1 game games exclusive to this pack. And it says some other stuff on there. It looks like it also comes with a mini USB hub, so we can just put the USB into that. I guess that's so you have more um, USB slots available. So let's go and open this thing and see what it is actually like. I haven't opened this yet, so I haven't really read much about these either. So you go, this is what the USB looks like. It's 32 gigabyte. I guess it would work as like a normal USB. Maybe I'll try it on my computer and see what it's like. So yeah, that's the USB. This one is the Fight Pack. Kind of like cheap plastic, I guess, but I guess it doesn't really need to be that high quality, does it? And then we've also got the... USB hub I guess so this is what we'll plug into the controller port and we can plug in more things these things are always useful um, yeah so it would just plug in like that and we can just plug in our USB pretty much anywhere I guess just there it plugs in just like that so let's go and test this out on my PlayStation Classic so obviously we will have our controller in player one. If you want to play with two players, you will have to use the USB hub because obviously we can connect more stuff. So you just connect the USB hub just like that. And then also we can just connect our USB. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. You can pretty much put it wherever you want. But yeah, that's pretty much what the setup looks like. Um, more wires, but I guess that's just how you're gonna do it. You can also plug in your second controller in here. You can probably plug other USBs in as well. So yeah, pretty easy to set up. Literally just plug in the USB and then you'll be able to play your games. Also, before you power it on, make sure this is all plugged in. Don't plug it in while your PlayStation is powered on. So make sure the USB, um, make sure the micro USB is disconnected and now we can connect it up and power it on seeing as we've got this set up like this so let's go and do that right now let's go and set this up and see what it's like when we boot off this usb so it's literally as simple as that plug in the usb you can use the hub if you want to you don't even have to if you're playing one player power on your playstation and it's just going to start up so what should happen is it should actually just display all of the games and as you can see we have got a lot more games than normal so let's just check all of these out so this was a game that was on here previously, but obviously we've got some new games. So we've got Zero Divide. That is definitely new. I'm just going to scroll through everything so you guys can see. And um, I'm not going to read every single game out. But you guys get the idea. Very simple. Plug it in and it adds all of these games to your PlayStation Classic. So they actually have a sale on right now. So I believe it's probably the cheapest price right now if you guys want to check it out. Of course, I'll leave a link to their website. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Plug it in, start it up. Um, you don't need to have any kind of custom firma or anything like that. It's very, very simple. It reminds me a lot of the R4 for the DS. Um, I'm going to plug this into my computer in a second and I'm going to see what it's actually like. I don't know if I can add ROMs or maybe they're encrypted in some strange format, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's of course play a game. I just realized they have a game that I actually wanted to play for quite a long time. Darkstalkers 3, the cover art on that game looks so cool. Let's go and start this up. Of course, the games shouldn't lag or anything like that. They should just be, you know, normal high-speed games. So let's just start a quick um, arcade match of Darkstalkers 3. Oh, I have actually played this before. I know this game. Um, I played this on this arcade stick that I had ages ago. This game was quite good, though. So obviously, the sound is going to work and everything like that. Let's just test out some gameplay anyway, because why not, of course. Let's see if I can beat this guy, even though I'm completely failing right now. So 
so there you go gameplay is completely fine with no issues at all now to get back to the main menu what you actually have to do is just press select and triangle at the same time on your controller and we can also then you can save you can check your memory card everything like that we've also got some more games should we just check out another game before i plug this into my computer um jojo's bizarre adventure that's on here that's interesting as I said, yeah, this is the fight pack, so these appear all to be um, kind of like fighting games. Let's play Pocket Fighter as well. I think I've played this before on the Wonder Swan or something. So really what this is, is just a USB with the PlayStation 1 games copied across onto it in the correct format. Um, yeah, you can do this yourself, but if you're someone that's not really into the hacking and you just want to buy something that's like easy just to plug in, then I'd say this is definitely for you. So we're going to test out this game as well. Again, just looks perfectly fine. It just plays the games how they should do. So yeah, that is pretty much the hack stick. I'm probably going to plug it into my computer now and we can actually see what it does on there. See if it's in some weird format or does it let us just, you know, look at the PlayStation 1 games and copy them across. I'm really curious to see what format they're actually in. So let's go onto my computer right now. Again, if you want to quit the game, start and triangle and select at the same time. Um, if you want to take this out, I would recommend powering it off first. So obviously we're just going to hold the power button and we're just going to power it off. But let's disconnect this USB and let's test this out on my computer. Okay, so I'm just about to plug in the drive right now. There it is plugged in. You need to format the disk. Um, we Obviously we don't want to format it, that will wipe it. We're going to click cancel. Oh, I don't even think we can view it. Does it say the capacity? No. So we're not able to view this. This is in some strange format that I don't know. I don't want to risk formatting it or anything like that. So yeah, I wouldn't really recommend plugging it into your PC. There's nothing we can actually do on it. And yes, you use some kind of weird software to browse the files, but it's entirely up to you. So yeah, that is the hack stick, the true blue mini. Very simple, something for convenience. If you're into hacking, maybe not something you'd want to get, but if you're a beginner, you know, they're cheap, they come with games, it's easy just to plug and play. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.